Hey y'all, it is Empress here and I'm back with another video today. Today we are going to use our Neo Rider deck. I really do think this deck is beautiful. However, the, the cards are a little slippery, so maybe um it can mess me up sometimes. I mean, I think so anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and invite our family in and get this party started. Uh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Ancestors, you are welcome here. Hey, y'all. So let's go ahead and shovel our deck. See, look at that. All I did was <laughs> We're gonna see how this go. We might have to switch decks. It doesn't, I mean, I guess it doesn't help either that my hands are really small, soft, smooth. I haven't figured out quite yet how to wield these the way that they need wielded. So. I won't blame it all. I won't blame it all on the car. <laughs> but I definitely do love the way that they shuffle. Okay. So let's see what is going on today. Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, archangels, and spirit guides that wish to see us walk the highest path for our greatest good. Allow me to tap into the energy. Tell me some stuff I need to know. Give me some insight on what I should focus on. Thank you. Using my smaller obelisk today. <laughs> and we have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Let me go ahead and turn the light on. Hold on, y'all. Hopefully, that helps a little bit because my ring light is over at my beauty station. I will be doing a look today, so there will be another reading tonight of me looking fabulous, darling. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Um, okay, so but at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So someone is wanting to smooth, to uh, sail into some smoother, calmer waters. Okay. And obviously, someone doesn't want me to get it out. <laughs> Let's see. What's going on today, you guys? Tell me what's going on today. What's going on in the collective energy today? What should we be made aware of? What should we be on alert of? What should we be preparing for? What is going on? Six of Cups flipping over in our deck. Let's see. So memories, childhood, reminiscing. So someone from our childhood is left. We we left them out in the cold. They're feeling bad. They're feeling unable to 
connect to any financial any financiers or any sources to help them overcome their problems this is a level up for us okay because we want new beginnings we have new passions new desires um, and we are working toward them justice will be served um, to these people from our past who we had to go ahead and leave behind this has led to a new um, new beginning for us this has led us to our lives changing drastically in the best way possible our destiny is here we have obtained victory we have won success is on our side someone has felt like they were um they missed out on an opportunity with that four of cups and so this led to them isolating and trying to find balance or they did find balance they have found some balance maybe not completely but nonetheless they are yep they are restoring their mind we're trying to figure out what's going on what matters most to them what's the best option for them um yeah which way to go so yeah we didn't left some people out in the cold baby this level this this the, granted us new beginnings a level up justice will be served to those who have come against us from our childhood mm. yes and our destiny is here our destiny is here Most High is granting us stability of our mental, of our emotional, and out on our life's path. We are on to new beginnings. We're on to greater. We are on to better. Thank you, Most High. Absolutely, we can. Every day, all day. What else is going on, y'all? something or something is being planned planning um, to defend something planning to move forward this king of cups may be planning something let's see what else is going on so he's compassionate caring loving and maybe that's what he had to maybe this is that's what this person who felt like they missed out on an opportunity they feel like they had to get back in touch with their emotions because we do see on the Two of Swords, there's a huge body of water behind this um, figure on the stool. Um, there are still some rocky mountains behind or rocky islands behind. However, the majority of it is at its calm. This person may be having some inner turmoil and when I say this person I mean this emperor okay has may have some inner turmoil they may have been um, maneuvering out of lower vibrational frequency and um, with with time and pouring from one cup into the to another um, with gaining self-awareness along with being betrayed baby their hearts broken they no longer want to juggle they were juggling something some things some ones <laughs> plural um, they no longer want to be in this energy and so they are looking for balance and they will obtain some sort of balance 
Yes, because they're going to end something with that death card. Something has come to a complete end ending. So maybe this is who's defending. This is plan who's planning. But they're having some inner turmoil. It could be because they have been betrayed. It could be because they feel like they missed out on an, on an opportunity by listening to other people around them, which is why they had to block out the rest of the world to gain some um, clarity. And they will be bringing an ending to something because of this betrayal, because of this heartbreak. They are wanting balance. Emperor is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So fire, all the, the, the fire signs. Mainly Aries, I believe. What else is going on, y'all? So this person is reevaluating themselves and their finances and they are growing from this experience. Um, their desires are having them move quickly um, toward or rushing quickly toward this queen of pentacles who is nurturing, loving, caring, responsible. Um, she is the HBIC. <laughs> so um, she she definitely she definitely runs everything that she uh puts her mind to we have the five of cups so this person may be depressed this may this person may be um sad and regret um so, oh. confirmation we have the eight of swords jumping out with that ten of wands so this person is in mental turmoil. They're feeling isolated. They're feeling alone. They're feeling blinded, trapped, um, bound. However, this is the best place to be because this place always leads to the Ten of Wands, the releasing of baggage that no longer serves them. And um, this person is dropping what is no longer theirs. They are moving forward. They have completed this cycle five of wands at the bottom of the deck this may cause some um some drama child because you know the karmics don't want you to be set free they want you to be at low vibrational they want you to be stuck because it's more it's easier to control someone who's um emotionally imbalanced but that's not gonna stop us is it of course not darling we are divine. You see, this man is an emperor. Despite being in this double energy, despite doing these things um, that are low vibrational because they were in a low vibrational environment, I honestly feel like it was a way to protect themselves and help them to survive. Um, and when you are divine, the Most High will allow you to do some things to, and you will reap karma. I don't think that you won't reap karma just because you are divine, but you learn from these lessons okay you do learn from these lessons they, they may be hard lessons it may have taken that betrayal for that person to be like you know what I want peace I want peace I want to be aligned I want to be healed you know it, it honestly sometimes it takes that so this person is going to bring in a message of love to someone um, maybe whoever they feel like they missed out an opportunity with. Um, they're wanting to, and the message can be, um, they want to sell into karma waters with this person. <clears throat> they want to heal. They want peace. This person will be traveling toward whatever this is that they want. Okay. They could be reaping some sort of abundance. 
on weekend. Hold on, y'all. is that had this person blinded trapped bound and isolated they want to fight they're upset that this person dropped off the masks that they forced upon this person and it's crazy to me because this person or these people betrayed this divine masculine so it's like what do you want what do you want from me or even better what do you want from me <laughs> in my tyrese voice do you hear me yeah they're upset this person had a spiritual awakening they didn't want this person to wake up they wanted this person to be sleep sickos what did i just say spiritual awakening hangman they have been enlightened but that man's crown chakra is lit. <laughs> it's lit. They had an awakening. They had they gained a new perspective. And now they're more aware of what's going on. They want to do something that they've never done with before with this page of cups and bring in the message of love. Which is probably something that they never um, had to do before. Or maybe they did, but it didn't work out the way that they was ex they weren't expecting it to work out so then they stopped doing it i don't know i, I know that that definitely has happened to me <laughs> you know i'm like you know what i'm not doing it anymore <laughs> i'm not saying anything anymore i just think it's so sick that people don't want you to be aware awakened yeah this king of pentacles who has built something for themselves they have created some sort of um i want to say some sort of foundation to create all of this abundance that they have around them but there was some deceit there was some sort of confusion pertaining this of maybe abundance or from these people who want to fight them. They were being deceitful. They were being dishonest in this divine masculine's energy. And they're upset that he or they had a spiritual awakening because energies are fluid. So it could be a uh, feminine and masculine energy. Um, but because energies are fluid, for the sake of the emperor popping out I'm just going to say he and the fact that they are rushing toward this queen of pentacles <laughs> so um, yeah, someone, that they, someone that they see themselves building with becoming better and I stop on the high priestess as I'm saying that <laughs> someone who's online spiritually connected, knowledgeable, understanding. But they may be feeling some sort of sadness, some sort of, sh some, sh some sort of shame, some sort of guilt, some sort of, some sort of something, <laughs> depression. Um, but this is what they're looking forward to gaining, obtaining that 10 of cups. Happily ever after. They might be, they might be um, a little bit doubtful or a little bit 
pessimistic about that Ten of Cups energy just based off of um, them ignoring this gift from the Most High in the first place. Maneuvering in that <clears throat> devil energy, that lower vibrational energy. Anything else, you guys? Okay. <clears throat> but despite being in this Five of Cups energy, they still want to bring in this message. They have a testimony. They want to tell. They want to tell. They want to tell their story of how they walked away to find what they wanted. And they want to usher in this union, this marriage, this collaboration. Okay, period. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Empress out. Mwah.